Hey up everybody and welcome back to the Just The Driven YouTube channel. My name is Josh Bridges and today we're going to be doing something with the looks of the Fiesta as opposed to the performance. Now over the last couple of videos we've done quite a bit of changes, hardware and software to the car and I think it's about time that we start to get it looking how I want it to look. Now I don't want to go too over the top with spoilerizers and big splitter kits and all of that sort of stuff. And in today's video, we're going to be wrapping the lower lip of the bumper on the Fiesta ST and adding some gloss black details to the rest of the car just to get it to blend in a little bit more. So with that being said, let's get over to the car and get started on it. So as you can see, we've got the car in front of us here. We did give it a clean yesterday just to make this job a little bit easier. But we are going to be wrapping this lower lip here. Now, I don't know if you can see properly on the camera just there, but as you can see, we've got a little bit of a grill. Now, there is a knack to getting this out. You need to pull the vertical slats. It does feel like you're about to pull the bumper off but hopefully we can get it off without no issue. We're not gonna do anything else to the rest of the car. We're literally only going to be wrapping this particular part and it'll just give the car a little bit of a better look at the front and it'll sort of almost black out this bottom part here. So I'm just gonna set the camera up. We're gonna see if we can get these slats off and then we can get on to wrapping it. So I've read quite a few bits online about trying to get this particular piece off and it's just a case of pulling along the vertical slats. So these ones here, if you do pull along the horizontal ones, you're not really gonna do much and they are relatively thin as well. So you probably end up snapping something. Now I just managed to get one particular one off here. I don't know if you can see it, but I think it's just a case of going around and just trying to get as much off as we can. Now as you can hear there, you can hear it starting to pop away. So a lot of this middle bit now is quite loose, but I'm just gonna have a play around to see if I can work out how to get the rest of it out. And then we will get on to wrapping that particular piece. So as you can see, we've got this particular piece off now. It was relatively easy, like these middle ones, especially these four here, are much easier than the outer ones because you can get your fingers around and start pulling them from the inside there. However, these end ones were a little bit more difficult, so I did have to use two hands just to try and be able to get enough grip in order to pop them off. It does feel like you are breaking something, and I must admit, I did stop halfway through I wonder if I was doing it correctly, but we've managed to get it off. Everything seems to be intact. You know, there's no particular clips on here um, and everything looks to be okay. Now, onto this particular piece. As you can see, we've also got some vertical and, and horizontal slats here. So you will have to make sure that if you are wrapping this piece, that you do need to cut around these particular areas in order to wrap it around. It's also going to be going underneath the bumper here to a certain degree. I don't know how far under. Let's have a quick look, see if we can see under there. Maybe if we can get it to this point, then that will probably work out best as it'll grip onto the underneath of that and it won't tend to come off. So I'm just gonna see if we can get some wrap lined up. I need to get the right dimensions, of course. And I'm just gonna give this a clean now with some isopropyl alcohol, just to make sure that the surface that we're doing it on is completely spotless. years later okay so as you can see i'm currently sat on the floor in the garage i'm a little bit of a broken man at the moment because this thing this split lip honestly i feel like banging my head against a brick wall um it wasn't difficult so to speak it was really really finicky i'll show you guys in just a second i'll show you exactly what it looks like close up i'm from further away uh, by no means is it a professional job um, I may in fact actually take it off in a little while, probably 
towards the summer time and go get it professionally done uh, but i'll show you exactly what we've done okay so as you can see the lower lip has been wrapped by far it's not the prettiest it's not the cleanest or the most professional or the prettiest underneath actually um and essentially what makes it difficult is you obviously need a piece that's probably going to go to here down all the way along and up to the other side i've tacked it underneath the bottom of the bumper just here you'll probably hear the the wrap there but the difficult part of these pieces so when you're actually putting the wrap on you can't put these bits down until you've cut slits and if you've got a decent wrap that's meant to be stretched then cutting these pieces can be quite difficult because you'll cut it this piece you'll stretch something over there and then the cut that you've put here will be slightly across but we've managed to get it done pretty well i'm just going to grab this thing just here and see if we can put this back on um, without actually ruining any of this then we're going to go up to the mirror caps we're going to take them off we've got some black ones just here to put onto the car just to add to the the gloss black effect a lot of you guys told me to keep the orange mirror caps some of you told me to get black ones i will put the black ones on for now if they start to look a little bit weird or a little bit odd then i will take them off and we'll we'll think of something else to do but i'm just going to bang the gopro down here somewhere just so we can see putting this back on it should literally be as simple as just lining up these particular parts to them clicking them on pushing it together and that should be job done So we've just put the grill bit back on. It was relatively easy to get on. It was literally just a case of pushing it together. I'm just gonna take a bit of a step back just so you can see what the car looks like. I do think it looks pretty cool. I just like the fact that you've now got this blacked out bit here and it leaves these two parts kind of floating a little bit. If you want to see some more pictures of this, go have a look at my Instagram, which will be down below here. I will more than likely put some more photos on there as well. So as you can see, mirror caps are off. Lovely molten orange mirror caps. All of the clips are intact. The new ones are just over here. Grab these in. See if we can do this with one hand. Shake it around. There we go. So that's the passenger side one. So as you can see, the black mirror caps are on. They do look nice with the gloss black finish. However, I'm not entirely sure what I feel about how they look. So I'm just gonna bang the other one on. I may keep these on for a couple of days, see how we get on with them. If I don't like them, the orange ones are just over there and I can just reinstall them. I'm just gonna go grab the other one, just put this one on now. Okay guys, as you can see, both wing mirrors are on. That one I actually did with one hand, so that's just how easy it is to change them. But now I'm stood back a little bit, I do kind of like the way that they do look. With a black lower lip, the black mirror caps, but we'll see how we get on with them. As I've already said, if I don't like them, the orange ones are just here, so it's just a case of five minutes and I can replace them. Otherwise, let me know what you guys think. Do you think they look good? Do you like the lower lip? Do you like the mirror caps? Do you like what we're doing with the car? And there we have it. The lower lip has been wrapped. The black mirror caps have been put on. I did plan to put a sun strip on as well. However, the one that I had bought had creases in it already, so it didn't look that great even before I installed it. So I'll throw that in the bin and I should be getting another one soon. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I'm gonna go for a rest now because wrapping that lower lip has absolutely wiped me out for the rest of today. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more on the Mark 7 Fiesta. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next one.